admin tools from Akiba in stores like any Joomla extension. To begin, go to the akibabackup.com website and click on the download link. If you have subscribed to the professional version, please make sure you log in first. Now, if you scroll down past the backup products to the security products, you will see the link to download admin tools to your computer. Once that's downloaded, go to your Joomla website and then go to Extensions, Manage, Install. Here on the Upload Package File tab, browse to the file that you just downloaded. Select Open and Admin Tools will be installed. Once Admin Tools has been installed, you will see two messages. The first says that the package has been installed. The second one it says the Admin Tools is not yet protecting your site and you must run the Quick Setup Wizard. To do that, simply click on the link. The first part of the setup is the administrator security. The first two are different ways of setting protection to your administrator link. The first option is to add a parameter to the URL, and the second option is to add a username and password before you can access the Joomla login page. If you want to know more about these, see the later video protecting your Joomla websites. I'm not going to use the secret URL. I'm going to use the username and password option. So I'm going to type in my name for the username and for the password, I will use a complex password, one that I am not using for the Joomla website. The next option decides if you want an email sent on every attempted login to your administrator. It's up to you. You might want to experiment with this for a while before deciding if you want to keep this feature on or not. I'm going to enter my email address anyway. I recommend setting the next three options exactly as they are, the default settings. You can always change them later when you understand more in the web application firewall. We now reach the basic security settings. Obviously, we want to enable the web application firewall. IP workarounds is a complex technical thing. All you need to know is whatever the recommended setting for your site is, is what you should set. Now we want to decide, do we want to block repeat offenders on your site? And I would assume that that would be yes. And now the email address that you want security exceptions to be sent to. Now we get to the advanced security section. Project Honeypot is an external service. You can find more information about it by clicking on this link. If you do decide to sign up for it, you need to enter the key here. Now we come to the most important part, creating a secure HT access file. An HT access file is a special file that runs on your web server that will help to protect your website. However, in some circumstances, it may block you out of your website. So before you enable this and press save, I strongly recommend that you open up these links in a new browser so that you have all the information to hand should anything go wrong. Because I have set the password protect administrator option, as soon as I save this configuration, a login box will pop up that I need to complete before I can get back in. So just make sure that you have a copy of that password. As you can see, the pop up has appeared. So I enter my username and the password and click login. As you can see, admin tools has now been installed. If you're using the professional version, you will see this box asking you for your download ID. This is required in order for you to receive updates to the program. Return to the Akiba website. Make sure you are logged in and go to My Subscriptions. If you scroll down, you will find your download ID. 
simply select it and copy it. Return to your website and paste it in and click Apply Download ID. We now have a message about a missing GeoIP plugin. This is an optional add-on you can install that provides some additional information on the geographic location of a user's IP address. It's not necessary, but if you want to, you can follow this link to download it and install it as you would do any other plugin. You have now successfully installed admin tools. I recommend that you follow the remaining videos to find out more about the features of admin tools to protect your website.